you end up stopping on the crest, what in essence you do, you've got the crest now into your chassis, front wheel here, rear wheel there, reduce pressure on the sand, and you end up getting stuck on the top of the crest. Spread the load across the vehicle during the recovery, so put a bridle onto the two jake rings. Okay, Bob, on my count, forward recovery, count of three, three, two, one, go. laid out here, typically the sort of things you ought to be carrying. Here we are out in Tunisia in the sand. One useful thing to carry is a magnetic tray. The other thing you just get in the habit of doing is just quickly doing a wheel bearing test. And out she comes. Anyway, the important thing to do whenever you're working on holes is leave a tool in them, because once you pull that out, they're remarkably difficult to find. And then just work the glue into that hole. Now this is giving you an idea here of how each space has been allocated specifically for a certain purpose. So we've come to a quarry today for them to get familiarised with how the vehicle handles fully laden. They've got all the fuel tanks full, the water tanks are full and they've got all their kit on board. Okay, so uh, we haven't really had a chance to sort of tell you a little bit about the truck. We've only been out here for like four days and already there's stuff that we wish we'd done and there's stuff we wish we hadn't bought. So we've only got a 45 litre tank on the, on the truck as standard. So I fitted a TD5 tank at the back, an old series filler neck just mounted in there. That gives us another 65, so we're up, so we're up to 110 litres already. Because the ground's been so dusty, uh, Bob's not been able to put his tent up um, and we've relied on this being able to be put up without being staked into the ground. And the other thing we've used a lot, even on this system, is we've used the grillet. Um, it's just a very basic cast iron slab. On one side you've got uh, the grill, on the other side you've got a flat surface for doing bacon and eggs and all sorts. See Bob, we even bought the kitchen sink. So tonight we're um, we're staying in a Berber tent at um, Kasaga Lane. Um, we've just come back from the desert. We've been out for about three or four days. Um, spoke to you last night to show you some of the kit, and um, we're having a bit of luxury now.